Hello friends, welcome to today's session on Python tutorials. In today's session, we will see how to install Anaconda Python, Jupyter Notebook and see the editors like Jupyter Notebook and Spider. We will also see some basic commands in getting started with Python programming. So let's begin the session with downloading Anaconda. To download the Anaconda Python, open a browser and type in download Anaconda. In that you can get anaconda.org. In that go to Anaconda download Anaconda. You will get a page which is download Anaconda. In that click on download. It will give you the options like which operating system do you have? Windows, Mac, Linux. I have a Mac book, so I'll select a Mac operating version. I will download, it will download in a minute. So to let, let it download, let's understand what is uh, Anaconda. Anaconda is a free and open source distribution of Python and R programming languages for scientific computing that aims to simplify package management and deployment. The distribution includes data science packages suitable for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Similarly, uh, it has Conda. Conda is an uh, open source package management and environment management system that runs on various different operating systems. Conda quickly installs and runs and updates the packages and their dependencies. Conda easily creates, saves, loads, switch between environments on your local computer. It was created by Python programs, but it can package and distribute software for any language. Now that we can see is the uh, Anaconda package is downloaded. We will install it. It will ask for some options. We will click on continue. It will ask to read all the guidelines. It will accept that we will accept the license. Click on agree. And then it will give us the installation type. We'll click on install. It's asking for the password. Now it is installing all the uh, required packages and libraries. Now we can see that uh, Conda is installed. It is asking us to install the PyCharm ID. PyCharm is another GUI or the editor for Python. Now that we have installed Anaconda Python on this MacBook, we will see how to open Anaconda Navigator. And from that we will open the editors. Anaconda Navigator is a desktop graphical user interface included in Anaconda that allows you to launch applications and easily manage Conda packages, environments and channels without the need to use the command line scripts or command line commands. So let's open Anaconda Navigator. So this is how we open Anaconda Navigator from the search bar. So it will start initializing the Anaconda Navigator and it will open. So these are different different uh, options or the editors that we have under Anaconda Navigator. Jupyter Lab, Jupyter Notebook, IPython, Spider is another editor for Python, and then R Studio. So this is complete package of uh, various different data science tools for different different programmings. So we will first see what is Jupyter Notebook. To open Jupyter Notebook or to launch, we have to click on Jupyter Notebook launch. So it will start a command line program and then it will open a browser. In that browser, it will open the Jupyter Notebooks. So this is my home page of the Jupyter Notebook. So what is a Jupyter Notebook? Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contain live code, equations, visualization, and narrative text. It uses, includes data cleaning, transformation, numerical simulation, statistical modeling, data visualization, machine learning, and much more different functionalities. Each notebook can have different types of code for various different activities. So this is my home page. I want to create a new notebook. I will straight away click on new. 
This is the Python 3, the Python 3 version that we have installed on this MacBook. So I will click on that. It will give me a new page. So this is how uh, my Jupyter notebook will look like, which has some different uh, menus like file edit view. The new will create a new notebook, save. You can make a copy of that, save it. You can rename the present notebook. So these are different, different menu options. Uh, insert is like insert a cell. This one line of uh, this one line is called as cell. And we can modify this cell. If you want to create a heading, we can select that. Like this is a heading, this cell, I want to make it as a heading. The one hash means this is the first heading. Like this is my new notebook, new notebook, and this will be my heading. So once I execute or run to execute any cell, you need to click on run or press control enter. So this is how the cell is converted to an heading. If I uh, if I want to use another cell as an heading, I can select that. Now this time uh, I will make it double hash so that it will be uh, the size and the font will be small. So the second notebook and I executed. This will be the second uh, second heading. Similarly, with three hashes, I can create third heading. And if you want to select a markdown, markdown will be just like uh, some comments that we want to write or some helpful uh, lines or statements that we want to write in the notebook or in before the code, helpful statements. So we can use as a markdown and we can press enter. It will look like this. So this is how uh, we can create new cells in Jupyter notebook. Now let's see. Uh, how to create a variable x is equal to 5 is I'm just declaring a variable I'm I want to print what is there under x I will execute it this is the output let's see how to print hello world in double quotes we will write hello space world I executed it it will give me the output hello world so this is this is how we use anaconda Jupyter notebook. Now let's move on and see how what is the another editor that we have. We have another editor that is Spider. Spider is an open source cross platform integrated development environment for scientific programming in the Python language. So to launch Spider, we will go again go to Anaconda Navigator and click on launch Spider. So it will launch a Spider environment or the Spider. Let it launch. So this is how a spider environment will look like. This is another editor. Here I've created a variable x is equal to five and I want to print x. So in this, uh, this code is in my temp file. You can see temp.py. If you want to execute this piece of code, you can select it and press control enter, sorry, shift enter. On a keyboard, you will get the output like x has the value 5. So this is how we write a code in a, a dot .py script. If you want it to execute in a console, say x is equal to 6 and print x, you can directly get the output in the command line. This is how the spider editor works. Moving ahead, we will see a few different basic commands in Jupyter Notebook. So we will go again in the browser of the Jupyter, we'll go to the main main page. And in that, I have a saved notebook with Python, Python basic commands. So before going to any uh, execute any commands, we, we should always check which version of Python is installed. To check that I have a basic simple very a basic command that from the pl platform import Python version. So platform is the platform what I have installed and then import python version is the built-in function which we are going to import from platform platform is like a package and from that we were we are install uh, importing python version and we are, we are we are going to print the python version so i'll execute this cell it is giving me the python version that is installed on this machine is 3.8.3 
similarly we will move ahead we will check check the python executable and installation directories so import sys this is my the my system uh, library so from system i'm uh, from system i'm importing the sys.executable sys.version and sys.version info and i'm printing all this information so this this executable is installed the python is installed under this particular directory what is the version the version is 3.8.3 it is it's a release date and time and uh, the last is sys in version info so this is the major is 3 minor is 8 and micro is 3 this is the 3.8.3 version now let's see how to print hello world in jupyter notebook so print brackets in quotes hello world and just execute to execute click on run we will we will get the output hello world let's see how to declare the variable it's like we have already done seen that x is equal to 5 print bracket x it will give us the output x now these are few uh, python libraries that we normally require to do machine learning data science activities in jupyter notebook so this is what uh, these are different different libraries matplotlib so we matplotlib is a plotting library for python programming it is for uh, plotting different kinds of graphs or plots numpy is a library for addition uh, adding support for large multi-dimensional arrays matrices along with collection of high level mathematical functions uh, scipy is like uh, scientific computing and technical computing uh, scikit-learn uh, sorry pandas is for uh, data manipulation or data analysis sklearn is the machine learning library which is the scikit-learn library for doing uh, classification regression clustering algorithms so these are the different different algorithm uh, libraries that are there open source libraries and to import this library say i want to import uh, matplotlib as mp so we'll import matplotlib as np and so i'm creating an alias for matplotlib as mp and whenever i want to run any built-in command of that particular uh, matplotlib library i will say mp dot plot or mp dot some other functions say np so i want to import pandas dot pd pd dot data frame so data frame is a built-in function so i don't need to write every time pandas complete word i just need to mention as pd dot data frame or pd dot some other functions so this is the way we use different python libraries we first install them by default these were the packages that were already installed in this conda environment anaconda Jupyter environment so I don't need to install them again now I tried checking whether tensorflow is installed or not to do that we can uh, import that library and to import uh, to import that we will say import tensorflow as tf so if we get any error for this like no module found it means that this library is not installed so to install this particular package or library we will use this command pip install tensorflow so this will this will automatically connect to the internet and it will download the required packages this is the tensorflow package and it will also do download its dependencies it will install it it will give uh, it will install all the dependency packages and later on it will give us the message successfully installed uninstall uh, whichever dependency old packages that were not required it will uninstall it and it will install the dependency packages as per the requirements and after that when i click on when i uh, use this command import tensorflow as tf we will get that tensorflow is we, we are not getting any error that means this import tensorflow command is working so this is how we run or uh, execute the basic python commands and how to import libraries in python jupyter environment so that's all for today's session uh, in the next session we will see what are variables different data types such as numbers string list tuple and dictionary if you like my training sessions please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications of my upcoming sessions this will support and motivate my channel thank you for watching